good neighbors with a little understanding. You can find the perfect blend. Coming up on Neighbours. I, I just, I don't know what to do, how to, how to fix this mess with Clive. Do you want to fix it? Today's the day I'm going to get back on track with Jane. Yeah. I figured I should apologise to the Kennedys after what I put them through. This morning it hit me. I am doing it again. Doing what? Daring to dream that I might recapture a, a time from the past. Well, I knew what happened, but this has got to be a record even for you. Oh. What, do you want to tell him or shall I? I already know. We're broken up. I don't love you. I mean, I do. Of course I do. But I don't love you like that. So why did you take off your story, my story? It, it goes a bit deeper than that. Is this like the last time? Is this you trying to recreate the, some sort of romanticised version of the past? I don't want you. But I... I do want your love. Hey, look who's here for lunch. Ah. Hey. No, Isabel? Oh, I wanted to have some family time. Just us. Lovely. Mm -hmm. Very thoughtful of you to come on your own. Oh, I wanted to show you guys that my relationship with you is important to me. Mm -hmm. But so is Izzy. Hello. Hello. Oh. Not interrupting, am I? No, huh? no. Come in, come in. I'm just going over some stuff for the wedding. Oh, I've oh. got a little to do with the wedding myself. <laughs> well, would you like to stay for the barbecue? No, no, uh, thank you. Um, I really just wanted a, a quick word with Susan. Okay. I think that's our cue, Dad. Mm. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. Have a seat, have a seat. Oh, I, I'm really all over the shop today. I'm, Nicolette and the boys won't stop talking about New York and I'm missing Byron and... I, d I just... I don't know what to do, how to, how to fix this mess with Clive. Do you want to fix it? Depends what day you ask. One minute I think I, I am close to forgiving him and then the, the next I just... I just have this block. Yeah, I've been there more than once. There's no easy answer. I think you've just got to follow your heart and see where it leads. You're pleased with yourself. I think today's the day I'm going to get back on track with Jane. She's forgiven you. Not yet. But we're making progress and I have been reflecting on relationships. How far back are we talking? At least those I've had in errands from. What's the next step then? Uh, call it a change in strategy. I think Jane is really going to appreciate this. Oh, well done. At least one of us is having some luck with the ladies. I hmm? oh, don't worry about it. Tell me about this idea. OK, so back of the day. Hey, just the person I was looking for. Sorry? Uh, you're up. Oh, no, I can't. I'm, no. It won't take long, I promise. I'll do it tomorrow. I can't do it tomorrow. Other people have to interview, so I... Oh, dear. Okay. I'll, um, I'll give it to you later. Oh, screw you. You know I love you, but I, I really do have to run. I've got to go and pick up my jacket and, and get the flowers. That's and... it. It's fine. Okay, what can I do to help? Nothing, mate. You just got off a, a 16 hour flight. Yeah, the jet lag hasn't even kicked in yet. Put me to work. I could do with a hand. Yeah, I'm at your service. Oh. Okay, right, all right. Got to go. Yeah. Bye. See ya. No. Give me. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Enough of the mushy stuff. Go. So. Oh, actually, while it's at your stars, I've got something for you. Oh. Do you like it? Dad said you were really into pigs. Oh, Cal. It's perfect. Think of it as being my way of welcoming you into the family. Oh, that is so sweet. <laughs> Thank you. <gasps> Clive? Is that you? There's nothing plain about my girl Jane. The most beautiful woman I know. And if you have her in your world, you should never let her go. The biggest heart 
the prettiest smile, everyone agrees. And when I look into her eyes, I go weak at the knees. Oh. If she gives me one more chance, I, I promise for the rest of my days that I will make my life's mission this to shower her with love and praise. Do you mind? Uh, where was I? To be honest, I'm actually a bit worried about you guys. Oh, oh no, 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 Tony, no. we're fine, really. All right, well, hard rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's tomorrow, and uh, Paige said that we've got to get all the junk out before the first open. Fair enough. Okay. Good luck. See ya. Hello, lads. Hello, hey, lads. I've got a few snags left over if you're hungry. Oh, I'm all, all right. good. I'm all good. Mm. You gonna tell them? Go on. Tell us what? It's easy. You won't get a better offer than that, Chloe. That means a lot to me. Thanks. Look forward to your call. Well, I gave up my job. Yeah, I believe so, yeah. No, I mean, Shane knows that you're a very good worker. Oh, no. What? What's up? My dad. No, no, tell him not to worry. You'll be fine. He's here. Oh, Sam, I, I don't have time to deal with an overprotective father right now. Yes, yes. Uh, well, just take him on a tour of the hotel. Tell him I'm too busy to talk, all right? Uh, yes, yeah, stop. Uh, new sentence. Lucy, the contract will be over to you very soon. Nice try, Robertson. <laughs> Can't find me off that easily. Well, I knew it would happen, but this has got to be a record even for you. Mum. What, do you want to tell him, or shall I? I already know. I've broken up. You confessed. How did you know? Kyle saw Izzy with Shane. Right, so you knew you were sprung and decided to get in first. <sighs> I didn't, I didn't understand it at first, and then I read this and it became clear. Your story, my story. It, it goes a bit deeper than that. Is this like the last time? Is this you trying to recreate the, some sort of romanticised version of the past? I don't want you. But I... I do want your love and your... your acceptance. But why? You were Carl and Susan Kennedy. And I just, I guess I just thought that if... <laughs> if people saw you accepting me, then they would think I was worthy. So, 
you used our son to, to what? To, to bolster your self-esteem? I wanted a reason to come back. I thought it was love. I'm so sorry, Mel. I just so don't. Sam always... Young, of course. I didn't even make the connection. Well, that was intentional. You didn't want me sticking my nose in trying to get your job here, did you? No. Uh, <laughs> I didn't even know you'd moved back to Melbourne. Yeah, we moved back a couple of months ago. Uh, we? Is there a Mrs. Young? Uh, not anymore. Uh, we're divorced. Uh. But uh, everyone's friends? Everyone is friends, that's right. Rose, Sam's mum, she's still in WA. But her job means she can come back and forth, so that's good. But Sam tells me the hotel's up for sale. Yeah, yeah. I don't think you're going to have any problems with the new owner, though. You never guess. Shane Ramsey. Oh. What, do you win the lotto? <laughs> I tell, why don't we all catch up and you can ask him yourself? I'd love to. It'd be great. Yeah, there's lots of old faces floating about. Jane Harris has moved back on the street. Right. <laughs> I mean, she's probably too busy to catch up with us now. I mean, you would be able to catch up with yeah, her. Yeah, I'll find her at A gorilla gram. Yeah, Clive hasn't done one of those since, well, the 80s. Hmm? Oh, well, there's no denying he's making an effort. You know, for a little while there, I, I started to remember some of the, the fun times we had, and then well, this motorbike just <laughs> drove past me, mm. completely killing the moment. Hey. Oh, Hi. hello. <laughs> Are you here for the tablecloths? Yes, and uh, decorations. Follow me. You want to come too? Oh, if you don't mind. <laughs> wow. Um, it's definitely not a boring read. I figured I should apologise to the Kennedys after what I put them through. They have been to hell and back because of me. I'm not going to hurt them anymore. So, Ramsey Street without the toad. It's kind of like having a mullet without the hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I know, but it feels right. Wedding favours are done. Yeah, can you believe? I think we're actually going to pull this off. <laughs> and it's going to be perfect. Well, not quite. Oh. Amy? I know, it sucks. I so wish she was here so we could sort everything out. <laughs> Surprise! Oh, wow. It's completely different. Where's the pool gone? And there was a bridge. Where was the bridge? There. Well, you've done your homework, haven't you? <laughs> well, that's Sammy to a T, isn't it? You probably don't need me to tell you this, but she takes her job very seriously. Mm. I'm very proud of you. Mm. All right. Oh! Oh, I'm sorry. So sorry. <laughs> My daughter, um, Sammy, she works here. Sammy, this is Jane. I know, I know. I never made the connection. Yeah, nor did I. You're looking well? Oh, no. no. I, I've been running around helping to organise a, a wedding reception on, on Ramsey Street. Were you there earlier? Oh. Uh, you know, I just, you know, I didn't say hi. Looked like in the middle of something. Were you at the street? It was just a quick drive by, you know, for old times' sake. Here, let me help. You. Yeah, I just gone for a romantic thing. Do you remember Melanie? Melanie. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. That's the one. <laughs> I, she probably doesn't laugh like that anymore, though. Well, join us um, for drinks. Yeah, why don't you? You're really nice to catch up. All right, I'd, I'd like that. I don't love you. I mean, I do, of course I do. But I don't love you like that. So why did you take off, avoid our calls, and then ask us to send all your stuff to Cairns? Well, I was confused. Join the club. Okay, this is the thing, right? 
I was sitting at my favourite bar, right? It's around the corner from Eric's. They do these really amazing rosemary daiquiris. Like they're not as good as the van. Amy, but... focus. Okay. So, I'm sitting there, and all of a sudden... You've really done it this time, Brimwood. Joel tracked you down? Uh-huh. Well, how? Insta. And some business in Cairns. You're a Muppet. Oh. And the role of supportive friend will not be played by Joel Samuel. Just think about it. How long have you known Toby? Mm -hmm. Forever. And in all that time, have you ever fancied him? No. It's just Zara got it in my head that I was treating him like a boyfriend. And then I just got caught up in the wedding preparation. His wedding preparation. And I just got confused, OK? I just, I couldn't be around him, them. At all. Tell me, how do you feel about him right now? So all of a sudden, it hit me. What? What? Well, I felt bad about what happened, right? But like, I didn't miss you like that. Like, like, like what? what? Like someone who I was in love with. You know, we talked and we talked and we talked some more and we drank some more. And by my fourth daiquiri, it all became very clear. You're right. This is not about Tony. Mm. It's about you. Oh, you were just lonely. Yeah. It's like I have this constant need to be in love, like it's the only thing that makes me happy. You don't need a man. I don't need a man. You don't need a man. I don't need mm -hmm. a man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> You heard about that, did you? Not judgment. No. <laughs> I'm impressed. <laughs> yeah. The bottom line is, I was just scared about losing you. And that, combined with my insecurities, it all just got a little twisted. But you're OK now? Mm hmm I'm really sorry about all that. And I don't expect you to forgive me, but I do want you to understand. But didn't Charlene steal your clothes? Yes, we were left starkers. Right? Not that there was much to see. The water was pretty cold. It was very cold. <laughs> Thanks. Dad. What? <laughs> hey, be honest. Who do you think would have won our boxing match if it had gone ahead? Oh, me. Definitely. Mate, you dream. Uh, how did you two end up boxing? Well, like most things in those days, it was over a girl. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> you remember when we first met? Probably crying. And <laughs> the kids at school are giving me some very unflattering nicknames. Yeah, if I remember rightly, I think I told you that they were just jealous because you were so smart. Paul's always had your back, hasn't he? Uh, how, who would have thought that you two would have ended up teachers? Uh, yeah, so I was a bit surprised when I heard that. Oh. Oh. Stay with us as long as you need, OK? Yeah. Oh. I've lost my appetite. Yeah, come on, let's go. Uh, yeah, I, I won't be a minute. Oh, no, 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 it's OK. It's OK, really. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> did you slip on some milk and hit your head again? You did the right thing by telling Mel. I really am trying to understand my behaviour. I saw what you wrote in the history book. It was very honest. Went on a bit, but um, I meant every word. Isabel, you don't need our approval. You never did. But you do need to try and find a way to like yourself. Until you can do that, you'll never be truly happy. Oh. 
I owe a lot to this man, Sammy. Clive was once my guardian. It wasn't all me. Daphne played a big part as well. Well, I'll always be grateful, mate. Well, I think I might call it a night. Oh, uh, <clears throat> Here, let me give you a hand. Oh, no, 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 I, I can manage. <laughs> oh, good. Well, we must do this again sometime. See ya. Look, sorry I wasn't as welcoming as I could be. Oh, no, that's OK. I'm sorry I messed up your gorilla ground. The thing is, um, Jane broke off our relationship a couple of weeks ago. It's my fault. I made some terrible mistakes, but I am trying to win her back. So I guess I have to ask, are you here to rekindle anything with her? No. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just here to make sure Sammy's OK. Oh. Let me guess, someone wanted the gossip on me. <laughs> no. I think the neighbours are busy with their own plans. Ah. Yeah, it certainly feels like the end of an era. Yeah, yeah I just trying to get my head around how we went from Chloe selling her house to the whole street being on the market. Once Therese and Paul decided to go in different directions, started a chain reaction. And... You know what? I always thought Jared would end up looking after this. But uh, looks like it's going to have to be you two. Oh, the last one standing. <laughs> the last of the custodians. Mm. Susan, you could write an introduction. It could use your voice at the beginning just to draw mm. the reader in. Oh, yeah, well, I'll, um, I'll think about it. Wasn't that good of the younger people to put this back together? Mm. Still, younger people become older people, and older people become even older. Oh. It all goes so quickly. It's so funny to think that when I was your age, I used to live in this street. Yes, no, I used to eat a car. Oh, that is a very good point. And nobody's ever bothered to explain that. Where do you live? Well, I live there and then there. But everyone knew each other. Ah, Jane. Hello again. I was just uh, showing Sammy the old haunts before they all go under the hammer, it seems. Yes, indeed. Where are you moving to? I don't really know. My, my son, Byron, has gone to Cape Town and my daughter, Nicolette, is heading to New York. Right. But you'll stay here, won't you? I mean, your you work's here and... Clive. Let's just say I'm feeling a little adrift. <laughs> What I wouldn't give to see inside some of these houses again. See what's changed. Well, you, you know, the estate agent, Paige, is a friend. I'm not sure the neighbours wouldn't mind too much if we borrowed the keys this morning. Ooh. Private tour. Good idea. Yes, a very good idea. I think we're in. No, in. Yeah, I had to uh... Oh, yeah. Bye. OK, bye, darling. Have a good day and I'll see you later, OK? OK. Such a shame that Jane won't change her mind about coming to the ceremony. Yeah, I didn't want to push her though. On the plus side, I can help her with the street party set up. Right, it's uh, too soon for me to think that everything's going to be okay. No, we don't want you at the street party because we want you at the lake. It'll, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. We discussed everything you said, and although we don't fully understand it, we want you there. <laughs> I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. What part don't you get? Now's the part where you quit while you're at. Is it too early for a drink, you poo? Uh, apparently not. Not for Clyde, anyway. Here's the door. I'm trying to grill up. I don't know why I'm still molting. It's not going to ask. This, um, this bender wouldn't be Mike Young related by any chance. I didn't sleep a wink. I kept going over everything in my head. When did you know it was time to give up on Terrain? I guess in my heart I've never given up. I, I love her as much today as I ever did. But she's moved on and... I have to let it go. Oh, well, I always did follow you around the room, didn't I? Oof. You know, when I first returned from the UK, people accused me of turning into her. Hardly. Well, <laughs> you could say some of her worst instincts had rubbed off on me. I'm just remembering how much she disapproved when we first got together. Can I come in? You most certainly cannot. Please, ma'am. Still, we got our acts together in the end, didn't we? <laughs> well, this is definitely not Clive and Daphne's style. No. Therese lives here now as Paul's ex-wife. How many wives has Paul had, by the way? Six. Oh. You know, I often wonder how I might have ended up if I hadn't met Daphne. She's a bit of a lifesaver, really. No, she was a very special person. I was sort of wondering if it'd be okay if I moved in here. Mike, I hope you realise that anyone who chooses to live here runs a very grave risk. Not too many people leave with their sanity intact. Is that a yes? Yes, it's a yes. Oh, thanks, Clive. They were heroes to me, both of them. Keep moving. I don't really remember this place. Was it always like this? What is it that is so urgent? Matt has stolen my motorbike. Oh, I can't believe it. He couldn't have. Well, he has. And I want something done about it. Oh, I think you spent more time here than I ever did. Well, just for the record, Bronwyn and I were just a moment in time. Well, you know, I think I was already engaged to Des by then. Well, actually, that was 11 months later. Not that I was counting, of course. Um, I'm sure you can imagine which house I'm really looking forward to seeing. Well, this takes me back. <laughs> the, the Kennedys aren't actually selling, but the, I didn't mind it. We have a look around. Where's that brick thingy? There was a there was something here because the table was on the other side. Yeah, well, I guess someone figured out that the roof would stay up without it. <laughs> Lounge rooms in the same spot. Mm -hmm. Slightly nicer couches, though. Mm -hmm. The scene of many a heart to heart. I blew it. I mean, everything was going just great, then I blew it. I hope the Kennedys are keeping up the tradition. Oh, they, they are lovely, lovely people, although, <coughs> although Carl can be a little careless at times. Susan wouldn't like that. Is that you in there, Nan? Is that? Oh, <laughs> stop. <laughs> I can still hear Madge's voice. Charlene! <laughs> oh, they used to fight like cats and dogs. Felt like we spent half our lives here. And listen, I, I just want you to know that this will change nothing between us, right? We've always been the four musketeers of Ramsey Street, and we always will be. Here. How do you reckon Scott and Charlene managed to go the distance? I guess they were just so in love. They never let anything get in their way. Not even Lenny wanting to move north. 
And sometimes I think you, you work it out at a young age or you never work it out at all. Yeah. Are you speaking from experience? You don't want to hear about me. We should keep moving. The Rodwells will be home soon. So much love in this house. It's very different to the one I grew up in. Oh. Oh. What? Oh. You lost the lens? Yes. It's all right. I, I have a I have a replacement. Oh, it's got to be here somewhere. Oh, no, no. No, no, no. Don't worry. I always travel with a backup. <clears throat> what? Ah, there she is. Plain Jane's super brain. <laughs> you know, I, I think it was in this very room that she became a thing of the past. Here we are. Ta da! Jane! Well, what do you think? And Charlene always enjoyed taking the credit for it. Do you remember what I told you afterwards? You look beautiful with or without the glasses. Still do, Jane. <laughs> oh, Jane and Mike must have come and gone. The street's just not going to be the same, is it? Oh, well, we've had new neighbours before. We'll, we'll make new memories. This is different. I mean, I'm happy for everyone. I am. I just don't know if I can write about it. <sighs> Well, before everyone leaves, we've got a wedding to think about. Mm. How are you going with your surprise? We, I should check my inbox, actually. Mm. Do you realise, tomorrow could be the last time we're all together. Mm. He says he hasn't come back for Jane. No, no, I honestly believe he's just here for Sam. Mm. What if Sam is the excuse for coming back? Oh, hang on. Now he's here. And guess who told him we broke up? Oh! Shout me a Manhattan, fellow New Yorker. Mm, let me think about this for a while. No. Oh, come on. I can't go home. Mum's giving her ex-lover a tour of the street. Oh. Jane and the ex-lover are touring Ramsey Street. Bye. 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 The Ramsey Street Olympics. Oh, yes. But the battle lines were drawn. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Clive. Are you all right? You seem a little, uh, little... Yesterday's news. Worst house on the street. Hard rubbish. Clive, have you been drinking? I told you that Jane and I were having a few issues and I was trying to fix it. Yeah, and I'm, I'm respecting it. I doesn't look like it to me. I, I, I thought it'd be fun to show Mike around the house. Oh, this was your idea. Huh. Listen, why don't you put the lamp? Why don't you put the lamp down? You, see this lamp? This is me. It's a bit old, a bit weathered, right? And it might fail to turn Jane on, but that doesn't mean I could just be discarded no. or traded in for some fancy new model. Okay. Listen. Someone do something. Stop. Right. Let's just talk about this, eh? What? I think I've had a nervous breakdown. I'm, I'm sorry I turned the hose on you. Yeah, I sure picked a good time for a surprise visit. Clive was completely out of line. Very hospital COO, not. He was acting like a, a drunken fool. Why would he think I've come here to take Jane back? Uh, mm, heartache, paranoia, and whiskey. Well, I'm not here to come between anybody. So, what was Mike doing when all this was going on? But he, he was being very chivalrous. Well, you know her better than I do. What do you reckon? Told him it was time to call it quits. Well, Clarky, really? I gave it to him straight. Jane isn't interested in him anymore. Des makes a good point. How can I compete with Mike? 
he was her one that got away. Now, I, I've thought about him so many times over the years. I have often thought about it. I wondered if she was happy. Seeing him again, it was like no time had passed at all. I suppose some loves are just too powerful to deny. I think you should be very careful about what you do next. If the moment passes, it'll be gone forever. I am an example of somebody who left things too late. Mike, please don't make my mistakes. Did Clyde really say he was ready to step aside? Have these ears ever failed? I don't know what I want. What do you want, Jim? I suppose you've got to ask yourself, what do you want? Lasseter's owned by a Ramsey? I oh, know. It's taken some getting used to, believe me. <laughs> Sorry I couldn't help you out with the loan, mate. That's right. Oh, we're just glad that you came to visit. Well, how could I not with half the old gang in town? Uh, let's go ahead and grab a table. I won't be long, guys. Hey. You're packed? Yeah, just about, yeah. So there's no stopping you now. He's done a great job of the ceremony. Well, wait till he sees Melanie's reception. Hmm. You're not bringing that tomorrow. <laughs> no, I'm not just working on my surprise. Some people haven't responded, so uh, taking the liberty of posting to your Ramsey Street residence Facebook page. What? Who doesn't appreciate a little musical inspiration? Sorry, I'm not eavesdropping. I, yeah, I am. Is that Carl Kennedy? Uh, I think so. I'm on a Facebook page of the street where I used to live. Ramsey Street. I used to live on that street too. No way. Yes, number 26. Well, mainly number 26. I was 24. I actually lived at 26 as well. What? <laughs> what are the chances? Oh, so many happy memories. My son Ned's been back recently. How nice. Mm. I'm not sure about this song, though. <laughs> yeah. Carl always fancied himself a bit of a singer. Well, apparently, someone's getting married tomorrow. Someone named Toadie. Do you know him? Toadie. <laughs> I thought everyone knew him. Like a pirate you saw. You know, we might be leaving the street, but we're always going to be in each other's lives. Always. We probably should get going. <gasps> right. right. Oh, yes. Okay. okay. All right. Yeah. Ah, oh, thank you. Yes. Very good. So he just ran off. Yeah. He left me standing there, feeling like a fool. I didn't even get a chance to tell him that Glenn and I had broken up. I know you've been on Paul's mind too. Yeah, I've been pushing him away, but I still thought we had a connection. You do, and everyone has seen it. Well, maybe he's just more invested in going to New York. And I understand that. But the moment's passed and I've got to let it go. What's up with you? 
Welcome. Thank you. Oh. We have a task for you. Sick. Gotta love a wedding activity. <laughs> <laughs> I think you've got to be the first bride in the history of Berensburg who'll actually be early for their wedding. Oh, I just can't wait to marry her! So, so Jane's not going to the ceremony? No. But you could come. Uh, I mean, I'm sure Mel would love you to be there. Or you could find another way to spend your time. Mum Smith, darling, here's a chair. Oh, should I now? <laughs> I really just don't want to do the wrong thing by Clive. What if it's the right thing for you and Jane? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Do. It looks amazing. <laughs> you ready? I swear it is, I'll ever be. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> it does break me. Oh. Oh. Back out. Welcome everyone to the wedding of Toadie and Melanie. I do! <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, do. <laughs> I think it's safe to say that Erin's bruh has never seen a couple like you two. Hello? I did knock. Why are you at the wedding? Uh, I've already told Tony and Melanie that I, I wouldn't be going to the ceremony. With the, the breakup with Clive and then the kids leaving, I'm, I'm really not the best company. Well, I enjoyed your company yesterday. And I enjoyed yours. And then this morning it hit me. I am doing it again. Doing what? Daring to dream that I might recapture a, a time from the past. Over the years I, I started to miss that girl that I, I used to be. You know, attracted to anyone and, and anything that might help bring her back. And, well, if it means anything, I still see that girl. How can you? I'm not her anymore, and, and I never can be. I'm, I'm a mess, <laughs> raw and damaged. Aren't we all? Oh, Mike, it, it has been wonderful seeing you, and you're obviously a, a terrific father, and, and you've got it all together, so anything you, you may be thinking about us, just... Just don't. Well, you come for a ride. <clears throat> come on. Come for a ride and I'll, I'll tell you a bit about my life. And now, Tody would like to say a few words about Melanie. <sighs> Tody, before I met you, <laughs> I thought I was done. Benito, send in the clown. She's never going to meet anyone ever again. <sighs> Then I met you. And what started with Tiger Print ended up being the happiest, most loving relationship of my entire life. 
Now, Hugo, Cal, you've given me the family that I've always wanted. And I'd like to remember your very special mummy today, too. You know what? But you're all too far away. Come closer. <laughs> you and I, we beat to a different drum. But when I'm with you, it's just the best feeling in the world. <laughs> Earlier today, we gave you a piece of paper. It was Toadie's idea to have everyone write down one word about love and what it means to you. Susan? Loyalty. Carl? Devotion. Unity. My boo. <laughs> Romance. Patience. <laughs> Respect. Um, uh, I'll go next. Mm. Memories. Harold? Sorry, you're cracking up. Can you say that again? Um, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, 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 we'll all be there. Uh huh. She went that way. What time? Okay. Bye. Is he? Lucy, Lucy told me that you and Glenn split up. He saw what I refused to admit myself. I'm still in love with you. I'm still in love with you too, Therese. Why did you reject me last night? You know, you, you say you love me. You talk about respect. Yeah, and I meant that. But I put myself up there. Oh, don't you see, Therese? It's because I respect you so much that I pushed you away. If we get back together, I'll just hurt you all over again. I am who I am. This is who you get. I know, and that's why uh, I wrote this. I, I accept you for who you are. Now, I may not always like you, but I, I do love you. Are you sure you're prepared to give us another chance? I, tr I tried to move on. I, I, I really did. But I can't. You're it for me. Sweet home. Mm. I still feel the same. So now, unless anyone has anything else to add. No, we are good to go. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You made it. Oh. Um. Whoa. So, I mean, I don't know. No one's here. Huh? Um.
What? Charlie, no, 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 no. I know, I know exactly what you're thinking. No. It was like between Rose and I for a long time. Just not really by the time Sammy came along. Still, we, you know, we agreed to stay together to help each other raise Sammy. I mean, she's a good mate, Rose, but apart from Sammy, we just don't really have a lot in common. Yeah. No, I can understand that. Still, when the time came for us to separate, I didn't seem to handle things very well. How so? You ever fell on asleep in your car? No, never. No? No, well, I have. In the school car park. And when assembly was about to start that next morning, I woke up, hung over, with a bunch of year tens and a couple of teachers staring at me through the window. Would have been embarrassing. Yeah, it was, it was cool. It was a highlight. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I still think I've got it all together. It's silly, isn't it? You know, we should just stop trying and just accept that we are raw and that we are damaged. Still, it shouldn't make me give up on trying to be happy, though. Hmm? You know, this is going to affect a lot of people. I know. I don't feel great about it, but if it's what we both want, Okay. Let's see what he has to say about it, hey? Gotta get this. Gosh, it's 12. It's Paul. Wow, this came together quickly. How'd they do? It's very you. That's how I knew you'd love it. You're back together again. Oh, uh, you're staying? Yeah. And Shane's graciously agreed to rip up the Lassiter's contract. So... And look, we know it's unexpected and we know that you made all your plans around us. We were all geared up to leave. Yeah, well, I'm sure that your brothers and sisters would still love to see you. I mean, obviously, we'd love you to stay. Well, it's an easy one for me. I mean, I've got the vineyard here, so... What are you thinking? Nick? Sorry, River Bend didn't work out. Ah, no, hey, I've got you in my life. That's all that matters. How about you, Clive? Did my two cents worth help? It has. Can I make a confession to you? Yes. And the more embarrassing, the better. Me becoming a teacher did. It had a lot to do with you. As I stood in front of my classroom, I used to imagine you in front of yours. Mm. What does that tell you? Oh, it's Clive. He wants to see us both at the party. Oh, there are still so many reasons to go. I, I, I still can't get a career back here. Yeah, I know, I know, but there's still plenty of reasons to stay. You can do anything you put your mind to. But look, in unity, right? I'm happy with whatever. Yeah, actually, guys, I think someone might make that decision for you. Hey. Hey. Uh, so, we want to give this a go. <laughs> well then, uh, I guess we're staying too. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe you'll have more use for this than me. <laughs> I hope not. What? Anyway. <laughs> I texted you this morning. Quite an outpouring, really, and didn't respond. <laughs> That's because we were already on the plane. Can you guys just get it together? Yeah. <laughs> okay, everybody to the Kennedys. Unless you got something better to do. Uh, Come on, let's go! <laughs> <laughs> Ladies first. Oh. We're not going to be watching Australia's Funniest Home Mullets. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, finish it, finish it, finish it. 
Toad, you're like a son to us. Well, that's ridiculous, isn't it? Toad, you are a son <laughs> to us. Tony, Melanie, the kids, you're part of our family and you always will be. Of course, today has special significance because you're leaving Ramsey Street. The street is not going to be the same without you. And we're not the only ones who think that. Some of our old neighbours who couldn't be here have sent you some messages. Oh. 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 Congratulations, Tony and Melanie. I am so sad that I can't be there with you today. Tony. Oh. Hello, Ramsey Street. <laughs> An amazing wedding day, Tony. And I love you guys so much. Congratulations on your wedding, Tony. Hi, Melanie. I don't know either of you. No, we only just met each other. G'day, mate. Welcome to House of Trouser. It's a holy matrimony on your Tony. Is it a wedding on Ramsey Street? Why am I not the DJ? Not that I ever got to walk down the aisle with Amy. But there might still be time yet. Hi, everyone. It's Nima here. I'm so sorry I can't be with you today, but I'm with you wholeheartedly in spirit. I wish you all the best and... There was a time when I had designs on Toadie. Hi, Mel. It's me, Shazza. I know, I know. Who wants to hear from their ex on their wedding day? But I really do want to wish you all the best. Los Angeles? I need to get away. Clive. Uh, you don't have to say it. I know. I was trying to salvage something that couldn't be, and that's on me. I guess it's uh, kind of a global tour where I get to work out what to do next. Seems like we're all on journeys of discovery. Yep, all roads lead back to Ramsey Street. Except not in this case. I mean, have you missed the for sale signs? Actually, there's been a development. I can't believe you're leaving Ramsey Street. I know Mum and Dad are going to miss you heaps, so you better stay in touch with all of us. Ramsey Street without Tony. It's like a beer that you can't open. It's like a pie without sauce. My years living on Ramsey Street were honestly some of the best of my entire life. They all stood by me, even when I invented the struggle era. I have to say that there is no better group of people to catch you when you fall. It just goes to show wherever you are in the world, Ramsey Street can bring you together. Sending love to you, Ned. Love you, son. Mwah. Isn't this whole thing kind of making you want to stay? The street wouldn't be the same without you. Come on, just stay. You know you want to. Here we go. Well, uh, I guess we're not going anywhere, are we? Oh, seriously? <laughs> we're staying. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I thought it'd be nice if we all had a fresh start. You know, I would like that. Anyway, I better go and find Toadie and Mel. Apologise for leaving the ceremony. <laughs> so what are you going to do with the house? Chloe said you bought it. Yeah, I have to find someone to take it off my hands. So before the big change of plans, I told a couple of old friends of yours to stop by. Hey, can I ask you something? Sure. <gasps> <laughs> Look at you. Hey, hey. Wow. Oh, lovely to see you. You too. You too. Hey, hey. Ha-ha. <laughs> Mikey. No way. <laughs> it just feels right. You two are meant to be together. Oh, Glenn's OK. Oh, well, it's official. The Rodwells are staying. Which means your commissions are gone. Well, there's just Chloe's house and that's all I wanted in the first place. Yeah, I don't think she's going to change her mind about moving to Sydney. <laughs> Things will work out for you. Oh, well, we'll know in a couple of weeks. Did you find a donut? Mel! Oh, no, 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 darling, darling, don't, don't, don't under there. <laughs> Is it someone we know? You made an offer. Well, the same price that Shane was going to pay. And I thought maybe I could talk to Susan and see if maybe there's some work going at the school. Jane, 
You were the first person I wanted to see when I came back here. And the reality is I'm still in love with you. Probably more now than I ever used to be. And uh, look, I, I, I realise this is probably a bit much. But if I was here, we could take things slowly and just see where this goes. Sam, what do you think about your dad buying this house? Amazing. Oh, there you are. <laughs> Isn't it wonderful to see Chloe and Ellie back together again? Oh, who doesn't love a happy ending? Yeah, and a few familiar faces we weren't expecting back again. You coming out? Yeah, in a second. I think I know what I want to write. Good. Carl, I love you. I love you too. How do you begin to describe a street? Do you talk about the houses? The bricks and the mortar, the gardens and the trees? Or do you talk about the people? The young, the old, and everyone in between? Where do you begin with the history? Do you start with your own or those who came before you? When we moved to Ramsey Street, the community was already here. The Ramses and the Robinsons. The stories from those early days are legendary. And their legacy still lives on today. There have been many families over the years of all shapes and sizes. Some of them unexpected. And friends who became like family, whether they were related or not. Love has always been a central theme. How many romances were born on this street? Things seldom ran smoothly, of course, but they usually worked out in the end. I think of all the people who never crossed paths, who could have been great friends, and those who kept turning up whether we welcomed them or not. The street always has a way of bringing people back. Then I think of the people who can't come back. The people gone too soon. How would they look if they were still alive today? If they'd been allowed to reach their potential? So many people that were lost. And then others... Others who were just lost. I think you have to acknowledge everything, celebrate it all, the good, the bad, because all of that makes us who we are. Everyone deserves a place in the history of Ramsey Street, even those who watched us from afar. Together, we have been... Susan? ...the perfect blend. Susan? Hey. Where were you just now? I was home. <laughs> it's so weird, man. It's so weird. Charlie! Hey! I didn't know you guys were coming down. <laughs> oh, so good Carol! Where are the kids? <laughs> Everybody needs good neighbors with a little understanding. You can find the perfect blend. Neighbors should be there for one another. 
That's when good neighbors meet. Toad! Look out! That's when good neighbors become good neighbors. Everybody needs good neighbors. Just a friendly wave each morning helps to make a better day. Neighbors need to get to know each other. Next door is only a footstep away. Neighbors, everybody needs good neighbors. With a little understanding, you can find the perfect Good night.